month centennial month should NT be allowed to expire without mention of this modest but important release. In Europe for the first time, and having struggled through two concerts with bewildered French accompanists, he made this, his first solo recording, in a Paris radio studio. Raw and angular as they sound, these nine pieces are utterly compelling. Without supporting bass and drums, Monk draws on his early influences to lay down left-hand rhythm patterns, including a kind of off-center boogie-woogie. But it's the authority and completeness of each performance that is so impressive, not to mention the considerable technique involved. An excellent booklet provides the background.